newest ally of the United Nations, Brazil, largest republic in South America. Brazil, only five hours by bomber across the South Atlantic to Vichy-controlled Dakar. Stirred by Nazi sinkings of unarmed Brazilian vessels, the wanton killing of Brazilian citizens, a neutral nation rises to demand war upon Germany and Italy. Massing before the Chamber of Deputies, an aroused people hear patriots declare that this assault upon Brazil's honor shall not go unchallenged. In Rio de Janeiro, the German embassy is closed. Its diplomats, along with the Italians, are held to ensure the safety of Brazilians in Axis countries. Axis-owned shops and stores are closed and guarded. Axis ships are confiscated. Today, the friendship founded between President Roosevelt and Brazil's President Vargas becomes a military alliance. The solemn pact signed by these two American nations weld them more closely now than ever before. And under the terms of Lend-Lease agreements, United States ships rush arms and supplies to their southern ally. From American aircraft factories, U.S. trained Brazilian pilots take home training planes for their rapidly growing air force, flying them direct from North to South America, one of the most remarkable flights ever made by training planes, a 6,000-mile trip under their own power. an air-minded nation, Brazil is proud of her 600 new landing fields and aerodromes. Sky patrol on the alert. Pilots rush to man their ships. For Brazil, a country greater in area than the continental United States, must defend a coastline of 4,800 miles. From Brazil shipyards, new vessels are going down the ways. President Vargas promised, Brazil will defend her waters, will man her coasts. The Brazilian Navy puts to sea. Her efficient fighting force now joining United States and allied warships on anti-submarine patrol. Since 1923, a U.S. naval mission in Brazil has helped strengthen its good neighbor to the south, sending U.S. ships and U.S. sailors on goodwill visits to Brazilian ports. Now, with Brazil at war, ships of all the United Nations may base in her harbors. Today, Brazil's armament factories are tuning at top speed. Her armed forces are on the march. Again, as in the last war, Brazil stands with the United States, first South American nation to declare war on fascist Italy and Nazi Germany.